Let's just start by stress testing the whole solar system. Everything is on in here. The TV, the mini fridge, every light, the radio, the 5000 BTU air conditioner. Let's turn the microwave on. Let's turn the 1000 watt kettle on and run the blender. The lights didn't even flicker. Pulling almost 2800 watts and there's literally nothing else that I can run right now. I took my little getaway cabin to completely off the electrical grid using four 450 watt Longi solar panels. And the main part of the operation, the Blue Eddy AC300 and B300 portable power station. I've been running a 5000 BTU air conditioner all day today and we're at 91% charged up. <laughs> wow. Sixteen feet long, I can fit four 450 watt solar panels. Sweet. So Blue Eddy's been around for a long time. I decided to just go to the tried, tested, and true simple method. And boy, am I happy with this thing. It is clean, fits underneath my low countertop uh, really simply. And this is the brains of the operation. Now, the roof of my little cabin is 16 feet by 8 feet, and I could fit... Uh, solar panels that I already have. I have a bunch of 450 watt Longi solar panels that measure almost four feet by seven feet. So I was able to put four of them on the roof. That's a total of 1800 watts. Some of Blue Eddy's portable solar generators that's kind of an all-in-one system with the battery all-in-one that you can like put on a truck and take camping. That didn't give me enough PV input for my solar panels. So I went with kind of a little bit less portable, but still portable system. So this top unit is the AC300. That's the brains of the operation. There is no battery in here. It nests really nicely, like sits on top of the B300, which is the lithium iron phosphate battery. Now this baby can take a whopping 2400 watts of input. Now it's got two MPPT charge controllers in it. So I had to wire up my two solar panels in series and two solar panels in series and bring them in, each to their own built-in charge controller. So there's a simple cord and connection for that uh, right here. So I'm bringing in 900 watts and 900 watts for a total of 1800 watts. I could actually do 1200 watts and 1200 watts to max this thing out, but this is more than I, I need for input, for sure. So everything is kind of in this top unit. It has a great digital display. You can connect it to your Wi-Fi with a simple app. You don't even have to sign up for it on your phone. I don't have Wi-Fi up here, so I'm not going to bother with that right now. But you can bring in a maximum 2,400 watts of solar panels. And again, 1,200 and 1,200, kind of two, two panel systems in series bring that in and it's got a 3000 watt inverter and can take 6000 watts of peak surge on it so that is pretty well an entire kitchen air conditioner microwave hot plate anything you could possibly think of running all at the same time and this little thing does it so it kind of has everything in one convenient package, this brains of the operation. You can even charge your phone on top. You just set your phone on and it, it charges. It has two of those in the front. It has DC output, 12 volt, 30 amp, a 24 volt, 10 amp. It has your USB-C, USB-C, USB-A, and USB-A of uh, different powers here. This has a 30 amp maximum for if you were to plug your camper or an RV plug into that. Now the Blue Eddy maxes out, if you do the math, 25 amps, but 30 amp they put on is, they just put max. And then it has one, two, three, four, five, six outlets, each 20 amp max. So what I did is I wired up my cabin with a shielded wire and a cord end. So I have two circuits to, to the cabin that's kind of permanently wired. Uh, 120 amp and 120 amp. One goes kind of one way, one goes the other way. And then another power bar for the main kitchen appliances. 
and then uh, just because my mini fridge is right next to it, plug the mini fridge right in. And that's literally powers the entire cabin, and I've this has more to boot on it. So the bottom unit is the battery, but it does have some DC uh, stuff here. So you could actually take the battery if you just needed to charge the USB or a cigarette lighter or whatever, and it has an indicator. And it also gives you a cable that you can run 200 watts uh, solar into this. So the battery is kind of a separate thing, but this is the main brains of your operation. The big charge controllers, the big inverters, and everything you need kind of up here. So the two go together. It also comes with AC charging cable, so you can uh, charge up the battery from the grid. You just plug this into a uh, 15 amp, I believe, standard wall socket to charge your battery up if you don't have solar panels. You can char DC charge it. You plug this into the cigarette outlet of your vehicle and use the alternator or the vehicle's battery and plug that in. Now, <laughs> this battery is an amazing 3,072 watt hours, okay? Over three kilowatts in this battery. One of these can take up to an expanding four batteries for a total of over 12 kilowatt hours <laughs> on this little portable thing. It's insane. You can actually, it has a communication port in between. You can add a second one of these and get it up to 240 volts and there's an adapter thing so you could run 240 appliances and essentially have four batteries and four batteries. So this thing's expandable to like a whole home off-grid system on, on this thing. It's, it's quite something. Now you get, you get the two systems and they nest, they have nice handles on the sides and they nest in. So you're never going to tip it over if you were to stack the four batteries all together. The batteries are heavy. This is things a little lighter on the top as well. And it comes with a cable that you plug in, plug the battery in, and it has a locking thing. When both of those are in the lock position, it's fired up. You literally press a button and it's working. It is so user friendly. I thought about making my own system. Uh, I've experimented with small solar things like get my own charge controller, get my own inverter get my own batteries and do all the wiring but for this little cabin that i'm tight on space and it just slips out of the way everything's convenient in here so if we have to charge our laptop and your coffee table's right where i'm sitting you plug in your laptop right to here but otherwise things further away i just ran into uh, ac circuits like you'd wire kind of a house i even thought about wiring some 12 volt because 12 volts just it doesn't have to be inverted so i could run some 12 volt kind of USB long cords for your alarm clocks and fans and lamps. Everything runs on USB now, but instead this thing is so darn efficient. I just ran AC, so life is simple for me. So what's all in the cabin that I'm, I'm using this for? So this mini fridge runs all the time. This is about 140 watts. Uh, not all the time, it's just when the cooling system comes on, but that runs day and night all the time. Every little light now, you get like a standard lamp with a standard light light bulb is 60 watt max, it says. But you put in an LED light bulb that's what, 10 watts? Like nothing, right? Literally nothing. So you could run lights all day long. LED TVs, you get efficient little TVs. This little, little one that I have literally pulls like 40 watts. Air conditioning. I got a 5,000 BTU wall air conditioner put it in the bunky cabin and when do you need air conditioning when the sun is out okay this thing is literally so efficient the pv input never never really brings in the full 1800 watts i have out there it literally matches up with the ac load because i'm making way more energy than i can store even with the air conditioning running all day when it's sunny outside. So this thing I literally fired up at nine in the morning and it's about 4.30 p.m. now. It has not shut off. It is super cool in here. It's 25 degrees Celsius outside right now and it does not shut off. I can have the AC going, the cooling unit going full tilt and run the microwave or a blender or a kettle or uh, cooking induction uh, electric if I want to cook something during the day, this thing literally stays close to 100%, the battery, and everything else is fine.
this is amazing. I've ran this thing for two weeks now, pretty hard. I and all day I, it hasn't shut off. Even for this video, I was gonna put it up somewhere nice. People do like a review and stuff, but no, I want my nice cool air conditioning to make the video. So, so three kilowatts of battery. What does that give you? My 5,000 BTU air conditioner is 485 watts. I can literally run that thing, if this is fully charged, for six hours, or over six hours, air conditioner at night, no sun, just off the batteries. I can run the 700 watt microwave for four hours at night, no problem. Pure sine wave, okay? So charging a laptop or something, you're gonna get a like that that's what it is the modified sine wave or something that's not a pure sine wave it could have little surges and it's not good for computer equipment so plugging in an expensive laptop or something into a pure sine wave inverter is for safety now my needs for the cabin i don't really need any other batteries i figured start with three kilowatts <laughs> again the air conditioner when do you need air conditioning when it's hot outside during the day when the sun is shining at least where i live and it cools off quite a bit at night um, so you don't run air conditioning at night now typically people sleep at night but if you're maybe staying up late and you're watching a blu-ray thing or watching a DVD, have a TV on, want to make yourself some tea, boil some water, want to cook yourself some supper when the sun's down, want to use the microwave, make some microwave popcorn, have the lights on all the time, have little fans going. This is plenty. Now to get through a few cloudy days, and you're not collecting much solar energy, then it would kind of be nice to have some extra battery storage. So you could just simply add on, and when you get a battery, it comes with another cable, you plug it in, plug it in, and guess what? You go from three kilowatt storage to six kilowatt, and if you need more, all the way up to 12. And then if you want to double up this, or you need some 240, you get another one of these, and another four batteries, and you could have a 24 kilowatt storage system, entire home backup system, with this. So what's nice is it's very expandable. Or if you don't feel like spending the money on extra batteries and you have those cloudy days and you really need the energy, it comes with that AC cord. And I believe it's 3000 watts charging. Run your generator for an hour and this would be fully charged and then you can get, get by those few cloudy days. Or you can double up your batteries. What was really nice is I don't have power up here while I'm doing all the finishing of the cabin and things. I ran my ginormous shop vac. I charged my uh, lithium batteries for all of my power tools. I had a jigsaw, a corded sawzall that literally plugged into this. And it's this is like the grid. I never even got close to worried about it getting down where um, you have to worry about, am I gonna have enough power? No, no, this has enough power for almost anything you could think of doing. Now. Where I live, it can get down to minus 40, minus 50 degrees Celsius. Now, if this cabin's not gonna be used in the winter time, what I might do is take out this system. And how easy is that? You literally um, unhook the things and it has two handles and you put it on and you, and you take it into your shop and keep the battery topped up till next spring. All I have to do is unplug cords and, and then in the spring, plug it back in. Highly recommend it. You know what? It was, it it's a it's a few bucks for this, but then again, I'm completely off the electrical grid. I have no ongoing bills. Money well spent, in my opinion. And anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.
making my way downtown. Just kidding, I won't do that to you. Could you cut it in half for me? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. People exception being the victims of violent crime. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> uh, you know, I have a daughter who... Oh, so good. Best apocalypse ever. Thanks, Blue Eddie.